drop this down and see if we can get some fish. Instant. Instant. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Cody, we found the juice. Oh God, yeah. Woo. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, as you can tell, Cody and I, Cody F, if you guys are not familiar, he is a fellow Wisconsin angler. Also, we are up here in northern Wisconsin and we're gonna be doing some ice fishing. Go figure, right? Oh, it's pretty much all we do here, it seems like. But we are on a lake right now that has a good solid four inches. I have fished here one other time, uh, but the fishing sucked. Uh, luckily though, Cody, on the other hand, was here at this lake and clapped some crappies. So, of course, hearing that, and he was a good enough friend to tell me this news, uh, we decided to make the trip up here, and that is exactly what we're gonna be doing. You guys seem to really be enjoying the crappie fishing videos, and especially the live scope videos, so not sure exactly what we're gonna be filming today, except for I do know we are gonna be catching some crappies. So, hopefully, a lot of hook sets, a lot of action for you. It's pretty much just gonna be strictly GoPro, and uh, yeah, a lot of hook sets. Should be a good time, so stay tuned, guys. Cody already drilled some holes, so I am going to get the live scope out, get the rods, and we are going to see if we can capitalize on some early ice crappies. All right, go in my rod case here, get my rod out. As you can tell, it's a big giant case. I got one rod in there, so that's pretty cool. But that's all we need. Today we are rocking the 29 inch ultralight panta stick from Frostbite. So far, what I've been noticing with using this rod so far early ice is that it's super sensitive and I honestly haven't lost that many fish with it. And then for the reel, I'm using the PC Fun Viper X super solid reel. If you guys want to pick this up for, you know, Christmas is coming up, use code NBEdits18, save yourself 18% off on all orders on the PC Fun website. So definitely check that out. We do have some new reels that actually just came in. I'm gonna be testing out in a future video, so stay tuned for that. But that's the setup for right now. I got a tungsten jig on with frostbite plastic and Cody already drilled some holes. So I guess I'm just gonna go take the live scope, drop her down and uh, see if we can find some fish. He hasn't caught one yet, so either he sucks or he doesn't know what he's doing, but I'm gonna go figure that out right now. We got a really high suspended mark. He's chasing me. There we go. First fish. What do we got? Tiny crappie. But he inhaled it. There's more down there. Hurry up and get him unhooked. Let's go see if we can capitalize on some of these bigger ones. Holy cow, there's a lot of them now down there. Got him. Small. But there are a lot. God, they're choking it today. Looks like we're probably gonna have to sort through some of these small ones before we get some of the bigger ones. Looks like we got a bigger mark coming in here. It's the biggest mark of the day so far. He's spending no time coming for my jig. And he hit it. It's a little bigger, but not quite the size that we're looking for quite yet. Just a little guy. But man, there are a lot of crappies in this lake. Should have a counter to see how many fish I can actually catch here. Seems like it's gonna be one of those days where I catch like a hundred fish. That one slammed it. A bluegill. That's interesting. I did get a bluegill. Yeah. Uh, see ya. All right, it looks like that school has passed. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to take off the small plastic here in tungsten, and I think I'm gonna put on a dinner bell just to see if I can get some of those bigger fish to come in and hit it. I am getting a ton of fish right now, it's just not the size I'm looking for. And I do know there's bigger crappies in here, so hopefully get a bigger presentation. Maybe it'll trigger some of the bigger fish. So going to, uh, Go ahead, switch, and we'll get back to the fishing. Go ahead, put this jig back. You can see I got a ton of jigs. This is actually the first time that I have switched jigs 
from our very first video i've been using the same frostbite tungsten jig the entire time and it's just been working i really am a true believer in just using one i mean if they're not hitting on a certain color they're really just not hitting plus i absolutely hate tying on small little tungstens when it's cold out so i am pretty much a non-believer in that i don't know if that's just me or what if i turn to the other side you can see i got a whole bunch of dinner bells probably going to be tossing on one of these little micro probably this gold one right here and trying this i also do have a bunch of the new frostbite dinner bells some of them i know i have all of them but these are three of the newer colors that they came out with for this year so if you guys want to check out anything from frostbite i'll leave that down in the description make sure to check it out dinner bells honestly one of the best spoons you can use for crappie fishing i know it sounds a little biased but these things actually do clap the heck out of fish so make sure you check it out i might this one looks pretty sexy i'm not gonna lie not sure exactly i think this one's called the lip smacker or something like that uh this one does look pretty deadly but considering i already have a whole bunch in there and these are in the case still i'm gonna toss on that gold one and hopefully hopefully that will trigger some bigger fish Deepest spot of the lake so far. Looks like there's some fish down there. Looks to be a sunken tree of some sort out here. And it looks like there's a bunch of fish hanging around it. Of that tree, we're gonna see if we can catch some of these fish. Switching into down mode here, drop this down and see if we can get some fish. Instant, instant. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Cody, we found the juice. Oh found that freaking tree and look at the switch of that right on that dinner bell nice nice crappie there's more down there i gotta hurry up this is incredible okay that was as soon as i dropped down oh we got one he's coming here he comes on right away Nice crappie. Okay, we're on a we're on a big school here. Giant school. Release him. Oh my god. There's a lot down there. Come on, get down there. These fish are really suspended. I'm fishing 25 feet of water, but I'm catching them 10 feet below the ice. They're just stacked on this tree right now. Well, this is where all the big crappies are. It turns out they're just on structure. Who would have thought? Here comes one. Instant. Bigger. Oh my god. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> this is the best find ever. Oh my god. I'm going to have to GPS locate this spot. Look at these. This is incredible. It's just one after another on this dinner bell right now all like nice 12 inch crappies all right you guys well unfortunately it is that time to end the video i i have to go to work cody on the other hand does not so he's kind of pissed at me because he'd like to fish all day the fish were aggressive for sure we just we couldn't find that right school well besides that one that i got into but yeah i gotta go to work so that's pretty cool but if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a like make sure to tell me in the comment section what you liked about it if you want to see more crappie fishing videos now in our last couple of videos obviously we saw we did some walleye fishing we are going to be doing some more species 
on the channel once some of the bigger lakes are going to freeze if they ever freeze it doesn't seem like it ever is going to happen up here because now we are getting some snow and we're really not getting the colder temperatures that we need but once more lakes start to freeze we can hit any species that you guys want to see and also we can pretty much do whatever the heck you want to see if you want to see us travel and go somewhere and fish a certain body of water or with certain people we can do that as well so leave that all down in the comments i'm going to finish packing up we got a decent walk to the truck and yeah i'm gonna to go to work so again please make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed if you want more ice fishing content because that's all we freaking do it feels great to be back on the grind. Cody's dancing, must be a little cold or something. And uh, yeah, pack up. We're gonna get on out of here and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Tight Lines from Envietta's.